Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. We have to go to this mansion. Where are you going? Am I really following following you? What's that way though? Okay. Oh whatever. We'll follow him. <laughs> I don't want to get lost. Hello. Where are we going? What's this? I lit I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord. Sustained. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Investigate. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Yeah, damn. But the 1600s? architecture seems too recent. Renovations? Maybe? Can I run? L2, that's right. Hello. Why did the music get like that? Hi. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, it's their- oh. It's their graves. Sarah? The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Hmm, okay. This don't look good. Charles. Someone don't like Charles. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Um, such a strange final resting place. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Wait, where's the sun? Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal Simon. a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Okay, hold up. What about this one? Poor kid. How old was he? 1913, 1924. He was 11. Ooh. Is that what it says? Oh my god, the hand literally gets in the way every time. Yeah. 11 years old. Okay. Alright, well, I'm leaving. Um, this way, I guess. Oh, man. I gotta turn down this light. It's blinding me. Okay. Oh man, now it's too dark. <laughs> How's that? That's better. I gotta get it moody in here anyways. Okay. Sorry about that. We are back in it. Huh. Looks like we can't go in the front. I'll have to find another entrance. Yeah, it's all boarded up. This is really cool. I like stuff like this. Sorry if you hear that. Let's try up here. Anything? Nothing? side doors this entrance is still in use yeah whoa 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 whoa, whoa. you are trying to force the door you nosy prick easy sir all right put down the axe you know what we do with rubble like you we gut them dump them into the ocean <laughs> 
Whoa. Uh, uh. Tom, your shit. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Okay, I'll beat the shit out of you. Grab his axe. Do not defile this place. I You this haven't one. forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police okay. report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. I should have grabbed his axe. You want to get rid of me? The sooner I carry out my investigation, the sooner I wrap up the case and return to Boston. After which, you'll never hear of me again. Huh. I like the sound of that. <laughs> but I have a better idea. You leave right now, and you never come back. No. Silas! Pierce! In God's name, what are you doing? He bitch. Officer Bradley, this hood was trying to break into the mansion. Do something, Bradley. Or this story will have a nasty ending. I vouch for him, Silas. He's working with us. We have reason to believe that someone entered the mansion and stole some paintings. Impossible. I would have seen it. Better safe than sorry. Now let us in. I promise to keep an eye on this one. Hmm. Okay, then. I'll leave the key with you. You could have told me that earlier, Sonny. Let's see listen. what more I can learn from this mansion. Well, let me look around. Ooh. Ominous. There's a building down there. Okay. Excuse what me. What now? Nothing. Yes. Shall we enter? Uh, now that you finish your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. He's in the damn You're right. way. Let's go. <laughs> right, let's go. Are we going in through like the basement? Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Chapter three, Hawkins Mansion. There's a creepy shadow in the picture. Raise your hand if you think this place is going to be haunted. For sure. Follow me. I know the place. Oh. Who, left this light on? Who do you think? Silas, jeez. <gasps> oh. Creepy. Creepy. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Ah, uh, they like their feast. Oh yeah, I gotta enter this, don't I? Someone was poisoned. Okay. Let's see. Got some, what is that, whale meat? Oh, it looks like squid, isn't it? It's squid. This roast, what strange creature has flesh like this? Looks like a squid. Hmm. Uh-oh. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Hmm. Oh, you look mad. You you always look mad. Hmm. 
The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Ah. And he didn't like that, did he? And this was the mother, Sarah. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? <sighs> something happened at this table. An argument? Yes. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Yes. Working, officer. <laughs> this dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Ooh. See that lightning out there? Spooky. Did they really just like leave this stuff here? Oh, there's a dead rat. See poison. I think it's poison. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Okay, hold up. What's over here? Nothing yet. Okay, let's just stick to the main plan. Oh, that's an imprint of a body. The child's corpse left a trace. Uh, Where are the others? Hmm. They had a fight. Why? A smashed oil lamp. Oh. That could could have definitely caused the fire. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Oh, shit. Okay, anything over here? Is that alcohol? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Yeah, he was. Drank, got mad. Pushed over the thing. Death. Um... Is there more? Oh, here's the painting. <gasps> if the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Oh. Oh yeah, it didn't burn. <gasps> Ooh, you're right. Scratch marks. Did someone escape the fire? Oh shit, was there a fourth person? Or Charles? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. Desperate attempt to flee. They were on fire? <laughs> and the boy. So, Detective, what do you make of it? Anyone could have figured this out, but. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? Uh... This is a crime of passion. They had I a fight. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. See. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Hmm.
I should do this. What am I seeing a lot? Investigation, I'm seeing that a lot. Okay. Cool. Oh, there's another, another medicine book. Nice. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. Oh. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Hmm. Oh shit, he's booking it. Okay, well hold up. What if he's talking though? No, maybe he's not. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. Huh. The lyrics of oh. the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. Okay. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Oh shit. Take that. That could be some money. Oh. This is creepy. Hmm. Moby, Moby Dick. Dick. Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. <laughs> True that. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Huh. Weird. What? This place is creepy. Everything the same? What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. <laughs> This piano is oh, in disrepair. Oh, sorry. Okay. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a self it's a family portrait. Any That looks like a demon face. Weird. This family got some dark secrets. What's this? More medicine stuff, okay. I guess I will go upstairs. There's too much stuff to look at. Okay, I will scan this side first. What is that? Crowbar? It probably belongs to Silas. A crowbar could prove useful. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Hmm. There's something disturbing about this painting. Yeah, uh, yeah. A book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. Hmm. This is a huge library. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692. By two families that seceded from the New England colonies. 
Hmm. Oh, I can turn that on? Oh, interesting. Okay. Now we're back here. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? A uh, letter of complaint. Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she, again, terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems, seems able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to recur, Believe me that, although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Wellard. Weird. Okay, so they threatened to put Sarah in the asylum, it sounds like. Possibly? Am I just investigating on my own? I guess I am. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll... Oh, that's a rat. Wait a second. This is spooky. Locked. Oh, I have a cat coming. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Okay, it's locked. Gotcha. Gotcha. Buddy, no, no, no. <laughs> Boot on. Okay, you can't go in there. I got no room. Okay, he's leaving. Okay. <laughs> got scratch marks everywhere. That's creepy. Oh, shit, I need a light. There we go. Also, there's a secret somewhere. Oh, I don't like this. The boys' room. Oh. I don't like the way you said that. The boys' room. Boy. All right, here we go. Okay. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Okay. Medicine. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. Yeah. What was wrong with this family? Huh. Oh, he drew creepy things. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something yeah, he terrified did. him. A monster. And the mother probably believed him. And then the husband didn't believe anybody, maybe. What will her room reveal about her? Oh. This is Sarah's room? Hmm. Oh, we're gonna pick lock. Oh, I thought I, would, I, thought it was gonna be like a Perfect. mini game. Okay. Wait, before we go in there, let's look around first. Barbiturates. What? Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. They act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. 
of that I know something. Oh. Okay. Uh This don't look good. Mm, I don't like this room. I don't like it at all. Wait, is that something? No. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Fate brought us together, and forever it will bind us. Charles Hawkins scribbled a kind word to his wife. Nothing. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Holy. She sold one for 410. Oh. $1,000? Damn. There was a gift for the Shambler. Interesting. Okay. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I just said that. I wonder why. Hmm. Secret lover? Maybe. Also, what's this sacrificial shit? Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Hmm. Locked. Unlock it then. We're. Are you really gonna make me go around? Oh. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. My very dear Sarah, ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last ones, so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. Your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend, who was the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. Hmm. Okay. Am I missing anything else? I don't think so. Bradley? Is that what? you? Also, there's like a secret somewhere. Oh, right there. The key. Oh. Oh, I can unlock. Also, what happened? Did he die? When I. Hold on. What's up here? Where the scratches lead. Oh, God. Is anyone there? Probably. Do you, do you at least have a gun? Because that would be smart. Why are they giving off like a green haze? It's like in the warehouse. Oh god, is that me? Uh That's definitely you. <gasps> Bitch! Oh god. You. Stop. you! Stop it! Come here now. Wait. Jump down. Bradley, what? Did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. It was you, wasn't I just it? Heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. You don't know if it was he a man. He saw me. He can't be far. You saying you're so sure it was a he makes me think it's actually you. a female. Oh shit! Light source. Oh, catch the thief. Well, we gotta run. This door was closed earlier. Oh, it was. Where did he go? 
Uh, definitely a secret bookshelf right here, 100%. 1,000% secret bookshelf. Okay. Anyways, let's look around. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. You don't see the secret bookshelf? They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Ooh, that means I can... Oh, I can't. Okay. Alright, I feel good about that. It looks like an old seaway map. Somebody has added coordinates to this old sea map. They make up a journey. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, there's definitely something secret. Oil refill. <gasps> no. Oh, I better switch to this then. Charles Hawkins was keeping her father's letters from her. What? These letters have been opened, but visibly have not left Charles Hawkins' office. They are tied together by a carefully knotted braid. How did Hawkins intercept his wife's mail? Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Hmm. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Oh. In this photograph, Charles Hawkins and Captain Fitzroy are posing with a third man. They seem close. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Wait. Probably another friend of Hawkins. Like that one guy in the bar with the glasses? Charles Hawkins was a sort of traveler, right? Mm. More like an adventurer, I guess. He left for months, exploring remote places and abandoned temples. Hmm. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. Haha. -ha. This panel is movable. Oh, it's not a bookshelf, but a panel. Wait, it is a bookshelf. I knew I was Cog right. Wheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. I was right. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Force the gear? Use the crowbar? Force it. Force it. Force it, baby. You got the Great. strength. I managed to force the gears. Looks like I've triggered something. Was I right? Well done, Pierce. <laughs> Predictable. Predictable. Chapter 4, Tunnels Under the Hawkins Mansion. Hmm, but these tunnels lead into town where the warehouse is. The secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Hmm. Look. Someone's been here recently. Yeah, we're playing dining. Oh, three seats. Ooh. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Fitzroy and the guy in the bar. Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. They're a cult. 
They're 100% a cult. Oh, shit. What is this mask supposed to represent? Oh, Cthulhu. They are worshipping Cthulhu. Uh, was that it? Or was... Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird too. Hmm. What am I missing? Uh... I don't know what I'm missing. Oh shit, this. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? Oh, she found out what they were doing. Hmm. There's still another hidden object. Oh, you. Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. Could this be related to her death? Yes. We need a question, Fitzroy. Hmm. There's a mystery afoot. Oh. Well, that took a lot of effort to dig. Do you, uh, have any comments about this? <laughs> Nothing? Okay. I'll just go down then, that's fine. I don't need you. My god, dude. Of course. Uh. And something tells me <gasps> that the key... Climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage Did... continues further down. Might as well start with that. Did I ain't gonna not... squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Did you not see the dude? I saw him. Find the thief's trail again. Keep going, keep going. Oh, great. Great. Nothing's gonna go terribly wrong. Um... Oh. <clears throat> right now would be a good time to yeah, get your flashlight out. Or this actually. Oh, uh, this ain't good. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. Oh, what did we uncover? This ain't good. These paintings must be several centuries old. Hmm. <sighs> this monstrous creature must be an allegory. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? They're dead. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Creepy statue. Let's get out of here.
What? My god. Can I unlock this? Why can't we unlock these doors? It makes no sense to me. Time has weakened these structures. Oh, we should be careful then, right? We will be careful. Hmm. I don't have time to search them all. Well, okay. Oh, that's not good. This oil again. What is it used for? Hallucinations and shit? Let's just keep going. Oh good, thank god it's not locked. What's going on here? Uh... Piers. Oh, there's a bunch Keep of people over down. there. We're not alone. Oh, Bradley's dead. God. He's so dead. What have you got me into? Go back we'll home. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Bradley, you're gonna be sacrificed. Just... Weird. Okay. Poor Bradley. Rip, rip, Bradley. Where am I going? This way? Wait. This way. <sighs> oh, I hate when the music does that. Table for sacrifice? Fish sacrifice. This is me. I'm being stalked. <gasps> Who is it? I can't tell. <gasps> what if that was a hold to hell? Oh, oh it's like the dream. Oh. I got I got it. It's the dream. Oh, it can't breathe. Uh, What's panic attack. Happening? Flee the area as fast as you can. No. Got you. No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Uh, this way. This way. Okay, okay, we're good. We're alright. We're alright. Just a normal everyday is it, hole. Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Oh god. Good enough. Prove it to us. Don't do it's that. It's like in my dream. Poop bucket? A pre-Columbian tribal dagger. Probably destined for scarification rituals. Hmm. Okay. I can't read Latin. Oh. Not yet. What should we do? Uh, investigation.
Okay. This is gonna be locked, clearly. Yes. Climb under. Oh my god, it's so dark. Oh shit. Wait, I didn't mean to. I thought it was locked. I thought it was gonna be locked. Oh, is Bradley there? Are they sacrificing him? You who Hello. sleeps, accept this dreamer under your immortal wing. Yeah, Cthulhu Nithsaha. <gasps> Cthulhu. I. What if I just go and interrupt? Him. You are gifted indeed. Not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. Bring me more sacred flesh. Ah, uh, religion is so your weird. Return <laughs> into the kingdom of the earth. Oh. Medicine? Dead? This ritual killed him. Oh. Where's the sense in that? There is no sense. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. Am I gonna get caught? We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? <gasps> How did I not get caught? His awakening is complete. He will join you. Bro. Shortly. Run. Run, 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 run. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know how I didn't get caught there. Bradley? Are you okay? I can take them all. My strength. We'll defeat them all. Bradley, Bradley, go away. What are you doing here? I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. Bradley, you're gonna die. You're not the protagonist. What in the world is this? <gasps> An intruder! No! Shit. Bradley! You're a free don't sacrifice. Move. Police! Don't move! Oh, that's the villain. That's the main villain. Charles? Is that Charles? I won't hesitate. Bradley, get I back! Show. Get back! You asked for it. Ooh. <gasps> that's Charles. Charles. Yep, I knew it. You shouldn't have seen this. Run. Run. It's like caving in. I need to get out of here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh yikes. Oh god, oh god. We're okay. Uh, can't go that way. Oh, this is chaotic as hell. Bradley, no! I knew he should have. Did I die? Did I die? Am I okay? Uh, uh, my, my leg! leg. Uh. My leg! Oh. Also, that noise. Awful. Well, like other people died. Okay. They, he killed his own people. Oh, Light. The exit. At last. The exit. Oh, no. <sighs> Riverside Institute. Oh boy. Damn it, Bradley! 
innocent bystander. Secondary character, I knew he was gonna die. I could've saved him. I could've saved him. Ooh, how, who, how, who the hell saved me? Who would ever find me? Like... What? Uh... Wait, Sarah? What? Oh, it's the guy from the picture. I'm so confused. He's having a seizure. I've seen some shit. Strong What'd you do to me? <gasps> What's wrong? Wait, Officer Bradley. I can't get up. What? Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. You're dead. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? Oh, shit. You're gaslighting me. He was dead. Me too, we, we were dead. They're gaslighting me. What are you me. doing? I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> What? No! What is that? What? I don't know what's real. <laughs> what's even real anymore? Oh god. Oh god, I'm in the loony bin. What happened to me? Where am I? They're pumping gas in here. This foul gas again. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. Oh, you don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. What? <laughs> I can't leave. This is spooky. Wait. Okay. I guess we'll wait it out. So weird, dude. How the hell does this happen? Oh, uh, I'm dreaming again. Also, oh my gosh, I'm wobbly. Hello. Hi. Stop doing that. Why are you holding up? Are you okay? You're not okay. Why are you holding up your finger? What are you going to do with that finger? I don't want to know. I can do that too. Okay, I'll just move on. No city is dark enough to hide the color of my blood. Ah. No wind is strong enough to scatter my dreams. Oh. Am I back at the mansion? I'm so confused. When the last order rises up, you will choose. I will not be here to bear witness to it, because you will have released me. 
but the earth will resound to your cries. Or theirs. Uh You there. Wake up. Come on. I'm... Stand up. Okay. We don't have much time. Hi. Are you here to save me? <laughs> are you here to save up? me? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. Why do they do... What, what do they do to patients here? What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment. For problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. Okay. Escape the asylum. All right, everyone, that's a good stopping point for this episode. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I'm really enjoying it so far. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.